I'm gonna go to basically every coffee shop here at UCLA. I will be buying coffees from each of them, trying them, and figuring out which place here serves the best coffee. Again, I'm not a professional coffee reviewer or expert taste tester. I'm just a stupid YouTube kid that likes to think that I am, so let's get started. Okay, we are starting off really basic with a place everybody should be familiar with, Starbucks. It's never that crowded, at least when I go, it's not a bad place to just chill, sit down with your coffee, do whatever homework or work you need to do. It's a nice environment. So I went with a vanilla sweet cream cold brew. If you guys know me, you know it's my go-to, my regular. It has been for like over two years, I think. It is $4.45 for a grande. I feel like it's relevant to give the prices of these because we're going to be taking everything into account from these coffee shops. Wait, actually... There we go. It's actually a lot more wider than it usually is. So let's try it. Wait, how the fuck do I even rate this when I normally drink it all the time? Um, for me, it's always been pretty perfect. I like some sweetness in my coffee. This satisfies that. I like a good low calorie coffee. This also satisfies that. It's like 90 calories for a tall, 110 for a grande. Starbucks is also like everywhere. So I could order the same thing when I'm back home in Texas or here in LA. So it's consistent in that sense. However, once in a while, I do end up getting a barista that gives me something that tastes absolutely nothing like that. It's either way too bitter or watered down or both. It's like, how do you fuck that up? Then having a bad coffee ruins my mood for the whole day. But you guys are not here to listen to my occasion shitty Starbucks experiences. So I would normally give this drink an 8.5 out of 10. That's the rating for Starbucks. Okay, I got our next coffee from a place called Blue Stone Lane. It's an Australian inspired coffee chain they have all around LA and I think in a few other states. They have one right next to my apartment, so it's kind of convenient, but it's kind of expensive, not gonna lie. This is their most popular coffee. It's a drought flat white with Calithia oat milk and it always ends up being around $7 when I order it for pickup on the app. So letting you guys know it is quite pricey. Let's try it. I hate to say it, there is no coffee that is quite like this. It doesn't matter how hard you've searched, how many amazing coffees you've tried, there is no level of satisfaction you will ever get from another coffee that comes close to this one right here. This is your ideal coffee drink. I don't know what kind of crack they put in this. This is amazing. And unlike the cold brew I cop at Starbucks, this drink is always consistently good no matter which barista makes it. I think it's because they have a machine doing most of the work though. It's also pretty unique because it's cold, but they don't put any ice in it. So it never has like a watered down flavor. For how large this drink is, and it's actually the smallest size they have by the way, it's a medium. It's also very low calorie, only 116 calories for this entire thing. And I drink like a fourth of it, maybe a little bit more. Now the only thing is, it's $7. And sometimes I want two or maybe three coffees a day. Is that really sustainable? I don't think so. So Bluestone Lane, I'm gonna give you guys a 9.0 for this heavenly coffee you guys produce. Would be a little bit higher if you guys lowered your price to maybe five or six dollars, just saying. Okay, the LA Classic Alfred's Coffee. You see your favorite celebrities, influencers, Instagram models always posting with their Alfred's drink because their places are just everywhere. Beverly Hills, Melrose, downtown, and now here in Westwood as of a few months ago, which is pretty sick for all those UCLA students. I have to say the cafe style and brand are really fucking aesthetic. The plants, the colors, and even even the cool sleeves they put on the drinks that they change like every single week it feels like. Anyways, they're famous for their ice vanilla latte, which I have tried before, but let me get a quick memory refresher. Yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of the overall flavor. It's an all right latte, like I'll drink it whenever it's convenient, but Alfred's just won't become like my go-to coffee shop, at least right now. Like, I don't know, cause my mind could change. It's been changing a lot, but um, yeah, for now I wouldn't go. But for now I'm gonna give Alfred's a strong 6.5 for their overall aesthetic and it's pretty decent coffee. Okay, next we have Pete's Coffee, another LA classic. This is the only one I had to order for delivery because it's kind of far from me and walking long distances is just not the vibe for today. This is another iced vanilla, vanilla, iced vanilla latte. It's what I ordered last time from this place and the flavor blew my fucking mind. So, gonna try it again. Wow, this is too good. It's really sweet though, so that's scary. I love this one. I love the vanilla syrup. I think it's called Madagascar syrup and it blends very well with the espresso and it tastes fucking amazing. But it's scary because it tastes very sweet. So it's like, how much sugar is in this? How's the nutrition? 
hold on i just figured out it's 215 calories and has 35 grams of sugar that changes everything so it's not a drink that i personally could consume on the regular because i drink a lot of coffees a day 35 grams of sugar is already over the top for me so i'll pass on that it's more like a very sweet treat yourself once in a while type of coffee glad i found that out this coffee is fucking great it's just that's the one issue with it, one major issue with it. So this is quite the debate now. Because remember, I'm ranking the coffees, taking everything into account, like nutrition, price, aesthetics, taste, of course. So I have to give Pete's coffee an 8.2 out of 10. Really great tasting latte. I just can't consume it regularly, but that doesn't take away from the fact that it's a great fucking latte. So 8.2 out of 10 is a really strong score. Okay, so this last one is called Ministry of Coffee, and it is very different from the rest of the places that we got from, not because they forgot to give me a straw. This place only has four locations in the world two in australia and two in la with the one in la being at usc and the other one being at the much better school ucla so i got their ice latte we're getting a lot of ice lattes today i've never tried this place before which is kind of interesting because it's the closest one to me out of all the coffee shops we tried today so kind of ironic but anyways hope they surprise me Oh, they surprised me all right. That was not good at all. You know, maybe it was a bad day for them. I'll try it again another time. But for now, Ministry of Coffee, 4.2 out of 10. I will not elaborate on that further, but I will be trying it again to see if it's still a 4.2 out of 10 because that is a very low score. Okay, so what have we learned today? Blue Stone Lane has the best coffee with their drought flat white with Calypia oat milk. Just such an extremely satisfying coffee at the perfect midway point between bitterness and sweetness. And I've been to so many places before, tried so many good coffees, and haven't come nearly as close to something as good as that. The vibes of the place are also really nice. I love the blue and white sailor aesthetic they have going on. Just one thing to keep in mind though, this was $7.38. That's a little bit over the top when it comes to coffee. But then again, welcome to LA, Omar. But anyways, this is what we have for our best coffee right now if you guys want me to continue my search and go to different parts of la make sure you like this video and leave a comment down below on which places i should try for part two again thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all very very soon later